Hi everybody. My name is Karen with LuLaRoe Karen Kamalik and I'm going to show you how to create a Google Doc for your new LuLaRoe business. So let's start on google.com and we're going to go to the right hand corner to the little grid over here and click on Drive, Google Drive. So you'll need to sign in to Google Drive with your email address. Um, I use my LuLaRoe email with Yahoo. If you need to create an account here, you can do that right down here. Just a few extra steps. Let's go ahead and go to next, type in the password. And it brings us right to Google Drive. So on Google Drive, we need to go under My Drive, do the little drop down here, go to More, and Google Forms. And now we have a blank form to start with. So let's give our form a title first. Up in the right hand corner, go ahead and give your form a title, whatever you want. You can use something like Lulero, Google Doc, something simple, whatever. And now we need to create all the information within that document. So up at the top, hey, look at that. Puts my information right there. I really don't want that there. So let's go ahead and change it to my name. And give our form a description. So something simple. All right, so now we've got a little description in there. Let's create our question fields. So you notice there's like little boxes here. If you click, it changes the little boxes you're on. So let's go ahead and type our first question. So let's change this to Facebook name. And we want customers to be able to type in here. So we need to change our field here from multiple choice to short answer. And let's make this a required field, so customers have to fill this out. So we're gonna change the required button and turn that on. So let's create our next field we wanna have. So we're gonna click duplicate. And voila, Facebook's name is there again. So instead of Facebook name, let's put full name. And we want it to stay in short answer. We want that required, so that one's done. Next. Let's do email address. And again, short answer, required field, perfect. All right, so we've got their email address. Let's do a mailing address. Let's say we wanna make the field on this one a little longer. So instead of a short answer, we're gonna do a paragraph. That'll get pe give people a little bit more space to put their um, their whole address, just in case, let's say, that you're shipping to a military base or out of, outside of the country. And again, make that a required field. So next field, we're going to go ahead and maybe give customers a little spot to say, like, what did you purchase today? And on this one, we're going to change and, and add like a little spot with a description, kind of like the top of the page. So click the three little boxes down here, click on description, and get, let's give customers an example. All right, so something simple. And then from paragraph, let's change it from paragraph back to short answer. And let's make this not a required question, just in case people don't remember what they purchased. It happens, but we can usually find that stuff. All right, let's duplicate again. And let's, let's ask the question about shipping. How do they want us to ship it to us? So we're going to take off the description, just uncheck it, 
and change it from a short answer to uh, multiple choice. So let's do option one is $3 first class. And we'll do another option for $6 priority. All right, we want lots of LuLaRoe consultants up underneath us, so we have a, a downline as well. So let's create a spot for that. So we'll duplicate again and go ahead and say, And let's do this multiple choice as well. So, yes, please. And let's add a third option for no thanks. And let's make this a required field. All right, let's give customers a, a spot for uh, giving us any more information. And let's change that to a short answer. So this, this way your customers can give you um, a spot to say, hey, you know, I won Lula Cash, I want to give away, I got $10 off, I had a return, you know, just so you have some information there. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and add in a little disclaimer. And as you notice, as I type, it's constantly saving, saying all changes are saved in the drive. So don't worry about it. You don't have to click save. It does it for you. All right, so in this case, I'm going to add, you know, they've got 24 hours um, to pay their in, uh, invoice, and they have five business days to return all unworn, unwashed items. So in this one, we're going to, instead of a short answer text, we're going to put a um, multiple choice and just say, I understand. All right, so now let's say we want to add a picture, something fun, something like thank you, what, what have you. You can either add a picture at the top or the bottom, or you cannot do it at all. So we're going to add a little picture here on the right. Click Add Image. It's going to pop up a box. You can either drag and drop, or you can click to upload. I've got one saved right here, so I'm just going to drag and drop. And 
and it's going to add it on the bottom. Now you see there's a spot for you to do image title. You can leave that blank. It won't have anything there or you can type something. It's completely up to you. At the bottom, once everything's done and you, you have somebody click on your link, there's going to be a little box down here that says send um, or submit. So that doesn't show up when you're creating it, but it will show up on your page. So a couple thing, other things you can do. Um, let's say you do, really do not like the color purple. You want to change the color background or you want to put like a little theme. Up at the top here, you can go ahead and click color palette. Bunch of different colors pop up. You've got a nice little pink color. Um, so let's say we like that one. How to add a theme, you would go ahead and click the button down here for themes. And let's say, let's go to illustrations. Let's, let's find something fun in here. And it's going to load up all the illustrations. Uh, these seem to be all kind of holiday-ish. But we're coming up to fall, so let's say we want to put a fall one. So let's say we like the, um, the leaves click select. So nice thing is, is you can change this however often you want. So you want to change your color palette to like oranges. You can change to like a little blue, whatever have you. All right. So you can also preview it. Um, I'm not going to click on that. But one thing I do want to show you is settings. So under settings, you can say you want your customers to be able to edit it after they submit it. Let's say they change their mind about shipping or they typed in something wrong. So you can choose the box edit it after submit or you can just not have it there. It's up to you. Under presentation, you can show a progress bar as well. And then once you're done with your, your settings, go ahead and click save. So how to get this onto your LuLaRoe page and pin it? What we need to do is click send and choose the little link here. And you notice the um, URL right now is really, really long. So Google Doc has given us the option to shorten our URL. Go ahead and do that and you can click copy or you can do control and C. And then go ahead and head over to your LuLaRoe page. So here's my LuLaRoe page. We need to do a write, write a post. So something like please fill out And then go ahead and paste your, your Google Doc. Once you go ahead and hit post, mm -hmm, it's going to go ahead and post it for you. To make it a pinned post at the top of your page, just choose the little down arrow button here on the right and click pin post. So now when customers go to your page, that's going to be always at the top. So thanks guys for listening tonight. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate me. Contact me at LuLaRoe Karen Kamelik or find me on Facebook under Karen Kamelik. Have a wonderful evening. Good luck with your businesses.